Wow, that's that's terrible. But, you know, um, we we uh, so we, we we keep on talking about your career and more great things coming your way. Some years later, you you became the the touring drummer for Sabaton. I mean, uh, one of uh, one of the hottest power metal bands out there. I mean, uh, they're all over the place. People are really picking them up. Um, yeah. How did it feel to be part of that as well, Snowy? I, I believe you were replacing a, 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 a drummer who was becoming a father. He wanted to something like that. Yeah. Just the official version, you know. <laughs> right, 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 right. Tell us the truth. Tell us the truth. Tell us the uh, real version. Yeah, about Joachim, um, the singer. We uh -huh. I, I knew the guys from before because they were opening up for 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 Therion, uh, on a European tour. So we shared right. a bus and all that. And they were, I never heard about the guys really, but I mean they 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 were just getting started to getting more and more popular and they were really nice guys and all that and uh, we had a good time together so um i was just planning my second biggest uh, big show uh, solo uh, solo show for halloween and uh putting together everything it's going to be filmed and recorded and blah 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 for this dvd and uh and then i was out running errands downtown and joachim called me and said you know we we got rid of four guys uh, at one point and and so it was just a bass player and and uh, joachim the singer and uh, then they replaced them with three guys but the drummer apparently after a while it didn't really feel right or something like that because he mm. didn't want to be there so um and i said to joachim like uh, he asked me do you know any drummer yeah but i'm a drummer oh no shit you know you're my favorite drummer <laughs> but i mean <laughs> But when they were out with us with with Ethereum, then I was the singer, so you know, I didn't, right. you know, I wasn't sure he knew that I was a drummer, but apparently I did because he was a big Dream Evil fan and also King Diamond and all that. Right. Anyway, um, so he asked me, "Would you like to sit in for?" And I said, "I'm too busy. I got to fucking focus on doing my own. I just quit Ethereum. I got to do my own solo thing now before I get too fucking old or before I, you know, run out of energy or whatever." But he said, yeah, but couldn't you help out for like a half a year or something like that or six months, you know? And I said, yeah, maybe, but send me the fucking tour, tour schedule and I look at it when, once I get home. And once I get, did get home, I, I looked at it and it just, I just kept scrolling and scrolling. I mean, they had plans from April 2012 to, to uh, Christmas 2014. And I said, wow. Sorry, there's no, no way in life I could possibly do this because, I mean, I got to focus on my own stuff here now. But he said, okay, but it's a, uh, if it's a matter of money, yeah, yeah of course it is. <laughs> 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 no, but anyway, so he said, couldn't you do it for at least six months? Depends on the conditions, I said. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then they uh, uh, offered me, uh, what do you say? Gave me an offer I couldn't resist or refuse. Right. Yeah. Uh, you could have so refused. Anyway, I was there for half a year. And uh and we signed the contracts and all that, what they expect, uh, expected, and uh, I tried to live up to that and uh, do the best I could to, to please them, I suppose. And we got along so well, and they were uh, like the terrific guys. And uh, and I've never been, I got to say, I've been in a lot of bands, but I've never been in a better organization. They are, they are so well organized and a good strategy, and everyone... From, from the merch girl to the, the bus driver to the, the sound engineer, everybody's like one big family. And wow. it really felt really, really good. So after the, those six months was up, uh, they asked me, can, can you do it for another six months before you decide if you want to be a permanent member of the band? Okay, let's do that. And I, and I did that. But then I after those six months, I've been there for, for a year, I figured out, Okay, I mean, it's not really my, my kind of music. I mean, I love the guys and all that, but I can't be in an, any band. Same thing with Merciful Fate and stuff. I was writing songs and tried to contribute, but it was like, okay, we're not interested in that. You're going to be the drummer. Uh, if I'm not allowed to contribute in any way, I have so much creativity inside mm -hmm. me. If I don't have any outlet for that, it feels like I'm handicapped or something. And why, why do you choose me? You can take some other drummer to just keep time. I mean, that's not me. You know, I, right. I, I want to. I want to do it all. So, so, right. So, I mean, yeah. So that's I think you have I, that craving. You have that craving to contribute, like you said, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, I just happened to pick the drums when I was a kid because, uh, yeah, 
I didn't know how to write music or we didn't know anything. So I just picked the drums. It, after pretty shortly I, I, after that, I realized that hmm, maybe drums are not optimal if you want to be the band leader and write songs. <laughs> you know, stuff. Right. So I, behind the drums and kind of hum the riffs to people whatever you know and uh and they had tried to pick that out and i figured that it's better that i learn a little bit to play bass or guitar so i can at least write my own songs or try to do that and show it to them anyway i have so much creativity and if i'm not allowed to contribute in any, any way they got to give me a fat ass paycheck so so correct that if i have to put that aside you know Right, right, right. So talk to us, Noe. Um, obviously, uh, let's let's fast forward into now. You know, you've been working on your solo career. You've 